Hey guys, welcome back to Deep's TCG. My name is Devin, and today we're taking a look at the excellent tool discarding Maractus. Uh, this card is excellent against Charizard, obviously one of the top decks in the current meta, Roaring Moon, and pretty much anything else, as you can discard any amount of tool cards from your hand and do 50 for each. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into that. But before we do, just want to ask if you could subscribe. It helps us out a ton. Uh, but outside of that, let's go check out the deck review. See you there. All right, guys. So this is Maractus, a pretty funny deck. Um, this was recently featured, not even featured. It was recently played by a player in a, in a recent t uh, Limitless tournament. So I'll link that down below if you want to take a look. Otherwise, we're looking at Maractus. So... The main attack here, Ditch and Shake, we can discard any number of Pokemon tool cards from our hand, does 50 for each, so basically it's a grass type, so we're hitting Zard for weakness, we discard four leftovers, as you can see here, um, we're doing 400 damage, and we can get them back every single turn with our boy Snorlax, and his voraciousness ability, allowing us to put two leftovers back into our hand um, as supporting Pokemon. We have a Ranguru with back order, allowing us to search our deck for two uh, tool cards. You can see how this works um, in the match, but uh, basically early game we can get our uh, TMs or we can get uh, leftovers before we research, that kind of thing. Radiant Greninja is just a draw card, so we love that. Switching, we got some switch carts and four jet energy because Snorlax has an insane like four retreat I'm pretty sure so four retreat not great so we play two switch cart and we do also play four jet energy um, as for supporters two rock sand because we uh, tend to lose a little bit at the start and especially against decks that aren't Zard or Roaring Moon it's not great research for basic draw boss for basic gust uh, we do play four bravery charm four leftovers two turbo energize basically everything we would need to discard a shopping center if we feel like switching which is actually you'd be surprised how often that happens when you uh, attach a exp share and you want to take it back um, two for a seal stone for the oranguru uh, can help out quite a bit for exp share because maractus has a two energy uh, attack cost and honestly kind of hard to power up sometimes so EXP share helps out a ton. We got one town store to search for an additional tool. Um, and a Raihan, and sorry, some Zinnias. Uh, basically just for draw or general consistency. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Three Nest Ball, Collapse Stadium, basic uses, super rod. And seven, the grass. So that's the deck. You can see it in action in approximately a couple seconds. So let's go take a look, shall we? See you there. All right, guys, let's see what we can find here. We, of course, playing Maractus. Hopefully we can set up nice and easy and uh, it'll just go well. We'll have to see. Could be Charizard. Got the fire deck box. Um, hopefully just Charizard. And we'll see. If they choose second, I'm guessing it's a Charizard. going first so still could be mulligan the hand would have been decent though so i guess we'll just see what happens here hopefully we just get a decent hand please it's like okay it's okay it's not it's actually not great we can get rid of a lot of these cards right away, so I guess we'll see. And going second is alright, just because we have the Turbo Energize. Starting with a Bidoof. Not going to let me in on any trade secrets right now. I'm thinking it's a Charizard. 
but it could also be an Entei Valiant, which would kind of suck. It's definitely something with fire. I've gathered that it's something that plays a fire energy. Artisan, actually incredibly good for us. So, let's see here. Okay, a Mew. Still not getting it, getting the info. But I'm really glad they played that Artisan. Nothing off the Mew. Unfortunate. Okay, so they're gonna pass. Uh, switch card isn't bad. I'm just gonna go right into an artisan. Put that on the bench. Attach the turbo energize. Uh, it's gonna get discarded either way, so we'll play it. And we'll research. A bit unfortunate, really. Oh, actually, no, we have a VIP. I didn't see the VIP pass, so no, it's okay. It's actually quite good. Uh, I'm going to grab another Lax, I think. Got the double Maractus. Got the Lax. I think we're good to go. So we'll just turbo energize. Grab those. One on you, one on you. And we will see what our opponent chooses to do. Fibberal. Quite good on turn two. Going straight for the Ultra Ball. That squawk ability leads me to believe that it might not be Charizard. It's something Charizard. I just want to know what he's playing. It's a, if it's Charizard, it's an interesting list. Okay, so there is the Pidgey. Arguably the wrong Pidgey, but Pidgey nonetheless. If we could get a boss next turn, that would be nuts. Okay, going for the Industrious. Fortunately, we did discard a boss last turn. Not my favorite thing, but what can you do? Mysterious Tail. In the Nest Ball, pretty good. Ultra Ball. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not going for another commander? Really? Three energy in the discard, too. I can't imagine that this is our standard Charizard list. Okay. Pull the Artisan. Gonna grab the Maractus. And I'm putting the XP share on it. We're gonna jump right into the active spot. And I don't even need to discard much. So we'll just ditch and shake. We're only gonna get rid of these two. And we will take a prize. I'm still mostly just confused against what I'm playing, or confused about what I am playing against. Uh, he does have the Charmeleon in hand. Putting up a Bibberol. There's the Charmeleon. I don't know. Hatching. Probably gonna Industrious. Super odd. Good idea. Probably all those energy he discarded. <laughs> Another Charmander. There he is. I'm actually not sure. 
I'm actually thinking this might just be a regular Charizard. Like the one from Pokemon Go? I know. Thank you. Hoping for a boss. Nope. No dice. Not the worst, though. We actually have a solidly set up Maractus farm here, so it's not too bad. And we already have two, three leftovers in the discard. We'll attach there. And... I don't even think I really need much. Just ditch and shake. Uh, we'll get rid of all three of these. I forgot to grab the leftovers. Entirely my fault. But we do have enough. So, not too shabby. And this ball. There's the Charmeleon. I have to imagine with seven cards in this guy's hand that he has a Charizard. Okay, good. I was kind of concerned. I just want to know if it's going to be the EX or just a regular one. I see a lot of things from like the EX list. It's Pidgey though. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. A worker, another Charmeleon. Okay. Actually, not a bad idea. Then you can just search for the Charizard. Instead of, uh, wasting turns. I wish I could shuffle this back. Okay, so it is the EX. I, I don't even know. Which is good for us, because, of course, this Charizard is weak to grass, so... Probably a good idea to power up that Pidgeot, to be honest. It does one-shot us. Uh, if we don't have a bravery charm. Only discarded one, so I should still have another few in there. So it does 120, yeah. So, I have to imagine he's gonna take a knockout. Another Iona. Okay. Good. Good Iona, actually. Now we got a bravery charm. Thing is, all my Baractus have, uh, you know, EXP shares on them, so. Guess we'll see. Grabbing another card with Artisan, or not. not much. I'm not sure. It's just got cards. Cards on cards. Okay. This is kind of, I wonder if he's just going to deck himself out. Okay. There's the burning gun. Took a while, but we got there. And I put on that one. We put up this Miraculous. If I could get a Grass Energy this turn, that would be pretty sick. Okay, we do got the boss. I'm gonna keep that for another turn. And we will ditch and shake. Do one, two, three, and four. Don't even need that. Yeah, actually, we do need that much. My apologies. So that'll be 400. Take a knockout. There's that. If we could get one more tool card, then we can take out this Pidgeot, and that would be it. So we'll have four, and then five. So we'll be doing 250, 
one more tool card. And that would be all. Or he could do that. I'm sure. Fine by me. Cool. So, unless there's some shenanigans going on here. There's shenanigans. There is shenanigans. Good blustery wind. That would actually be kind of annoying. Oh, we got the switch card. We're chill. that we lose right now and I don't think there's much. Played the boss so no chance for his Ionos that he just plays a lot of I guess. You know, I guess he only played two it felt like a lot more but uh yeah. Can't take this out. He could counter catch her I guess for something. Still would need. If he doesn't get rid of the artisan, then I can search another Snorlax. Okay, so he is gonna go for that. <coughs> okay, he's not gonna go for that. Then it's game. Cool. Switch card. Put up the Maractus. We're going to boss up the Charizard. Use Voraciousness. One, two. Okay. It's just that easy, I guess. I'm the maddest partier. Check, wait for next week, dude. Wait for next week. Alright. So that was, a, that was a game. Here's another one. Alright, so... Let's check out another game here. Uh, see what's happening. Miraculous game for life. Except when it doesn't work. It happens. Any deck is going to happen. Uh, hopefully this one, it doesn't. I'd like to see uh, an interesting deck. Maybe something uh, a little niche. But you know, this thing does well against Charizard. That's for sure. Ideally Roaring Moon as well. Uh, I'm going to choose to go second this time, just to see uh, if we can pull off a Turbo Energize. There's a lot to ask for. Apparently it's not as much to ask for as I thought. Could be a Charizard. Sure looking like a Charizard with a Mew start. Uh, but this is actually uh, quite good. Full Bling Zard. Pretty sick. Fine by me. Maybe for a uh, Luminion, potentially. Oh, this really is full bling. Holy smokes. Alright. Going right through it. Let's check here. So we're gonna be a P pass. Grab two of those for sure. Uh, yeah, okay. I got a plan here. We're gonna back order. We'll grab this, we'll grab that. We're going to Zinnia, discarding two leftovers. Play down the Snorlax. Turbo Energize. Uh, I'm going to touch a Grass. And... Good Town Store. 
I want to get at least one EXP share out. I think that would be good. I don't necessarily like giving them access to their uh, four seal, but uh, it's okay. And then I will just turbo energize. So this is a pretty good start for this deck. Uh, do that. If I get out a Zard this turn, we can take a knock. So there's the Arvin. If they get out a Zard and they knock out this Orangaroo. They don't even need to knock out the Orangaroo, but I have this feeling that they'll probably... If they evolve into the Zard, I don't know if they're actually going to go for that. Reminder. Are you sick? The boss would be really cool. I would still need more, though. I would need six, uh, six tools. I could. Actually, I could. If I can back order, back order plus town store plus a voraciousness, I can take out the Pidgeot. But we will see what happens. Zard is obviously a rather strong deck currently. Uh, you can actually check out uh, the week before last video I made about it. It's like the main deck I've been playing recently, and uh, I find it to be quite fun. Actually, probably the most fun I've had in eons playing this game. Okay, did play the Arvin, I remember that. Near the XP share. Or the town store. That would actually be bad. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense, to be honest. But I can still forest seal. Really? Huh. I'm not taking a knock on it. Hmm. Well, what can I do? I can back order. That's for sure. I can mess ball. It's a shout. Hmm. I mean, I could just take a knockout. I think that's just the play for now. We jet right into there. We voraciousness. Grab those two. And then we just ditch and shake. We'll just get rid of those four for now. And that will do it. Grab our two prizes. Could still take out the Orangaroo. Uh, we do have another one now. And another four seal stone. I kind of want to just take out the Pidgeot this turn. Because... I do. But I might have to... I might have to use the four seal for a... Okay. For a for an energy, actually. They're just going right into it. If he has a boss, he could take out the uh, Orangaroo. Nope, just another Arvin. Could counter catcher as well. I 
Evolving into Zard is a questionable play, I want to say, just because uh, I mean, it can pretty easily take it out. Countercatcher and Gloves, okay. Gloves do nothing for him, but the Countercatcher, probably picking up the Oranguru, which is more than fine by me. If he takes up a Snorlax, a little more annoying, but still manageable. And just steal stone. Okay. That works too. Um, basically, I have any. Alright. Deck beats Zard. What can I say? Maractus beats Zard. It's just that easy. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy. Check out this outro. Alright guys, so that was Maractus. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of it. Uh, honestly, pretty fun, and if you really dislike Zard, then uh, feel free to pick this up. It's uh, quite, a, quite a fun deck to play actually, and it's kind of reminiscent of Garbodor, a deck or a card I really wanted to do well, but uh, alas. Um, Feel free to check out some of our other content. If you're interested in Zard, uh, you can check out a couple weeks ago. I did a video about it. Um, we have some other stuff coming out pretty soon as well. So if you're looking forward to uh, other formats or things like that, uh, look forward to that. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. We greatly appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. So, bye.